transcranial motor evoked potentials TCMEP, are recorded from muscles following transcranial electrical stimulation of the pyramidal nuclei of the primary motor cortex or precentral gyrus. They monitor the integrity of the anterior and lateral corticospinal tracts which are responsible for movement. The pyramidal tracts include both the corticobulbar and corticospinal tracts. The corticospinal tracts cross over in the medulla, they are collections of upper motor neuron fibers which go to the spinal cord controlling the motor function of the body. The corticospinal tract is comprised of a ventral and lateral tract. Paired subdermal needle electrodes are placed in distal muscles of the upper and lower extremities for recording. Theoretically, motor evolved potentials can be recorded from any muscle. Here are three head lead stimulation needle electrode montages, C3, C4, C1, C2, and CZ, FPZ. Anesthetic protocol. No nitrous oxide. No other inhalation agents. Total intravenous anesthesia. Ver set up front only. Bilateral bite block placed by anesthesiologist prior to MEPs. MEPs are very sensitive to perfusion issues. Watch for low blood pressure MAP. Prolonged reduction of intraoperative TCMEP amplitude predicts spinal cord injury following spinal cord ischemia. The early detection of spinal cord ischemia by TCMEPs allows for prompt measures to be taken which results in full recovery and prevents spinal cord neuronal damage. Alert criteria. Significant reduction in amplitude. Complete loss of potential. MEPs should be run as consistently as permitted, especially before and after critical points in the procedure. Make sure to document along with the procedure accurately. Significant changes in the IONM data should be communicated rapidly to the rest of the surgical team. If the MEPs are not obtainable due to pre-existing neurologic compromise, it should be reported to the surgeon. The neurophysiologist must be prepared to give these suggestions to the team when appropriate, allowing the surgeon to give the orders.